in the bottom right with brilliant ZBT play, which may very well bring him out of this group. He is. Bungjin Stars, Soul King. Cool looking keyboard. Yeah, I like it. In the upper left, we have our Terran player, probably the fan favorite here for today, especially if you're watching this stream. He is. All right, well, pressure is on Tasia now. Because remember what I said, Tasteless. This is going to come back to haunt Tasia if he loses this. That mule he dropped on ST. You think Nesty isn't thinking about that mule? Developing new strategies as we speak to destroy Tasia? Do you think that isn't happening, Tasia? I, I think that has to be happening. I think, and in fact, Noblesse, I already saw him. He tried to run out of the studio when he saw Nesty lost. But Nesty told him, no, it's okay. I'll make sure the games are fine. Because you know what? <laughs> he is a very nice guy. And he knows oh, Noblesse is young, and it's a very stressful thing to have to play against your creator. Yeah. It's not easy. Yeah, no, it's not easy at all. Man, poor Noble S, this group is just so tough, you know? Yeah. It really is. Well, um, this is a one-on-one -on -one map. Uh, it's shaped pretty interestingly. Uh, there's two expansions at the bottom left, two expansions at the upper right. Um, so we generally see people... Uh, you, you just, you're probably going to expand, like if you're the Terran in this case, downward, you're the Zerg upward. Yeah. But yeah. it can depend. And, uh, you know, a lot of the time, their base for Zerg is actually going to be the one uh, above the natural that Nest or Sulky has right now. Yeah. Whereas for Terran Pros, they'll oftentimes kill the rocks and go to the next, the one right next by. Yeah. But uh, that isn't necessarily going to be the case here. We're going to have to see because I actually haven't seen a lot of TVZs here, none in the GSL so far. Uh, so it's hard to say exactly where the best expansion is going to be for Sulky. Because don't forget, you know, some of these uh, little terrain issues that we have where there's high ground above and stuff, you can set down some siege tanks and yeah, uh, it can get pretty messy. Well, we do have a pretty quick speed here by Sulky. And part of that is going to be because, uh, you know, the, the natural ramp is really, really big on this map. So that's something that can be annoying uh, to have to deal with that. He's going to have to wall it off pretty quickly or maybe have extra bunkers. Just to have speed, you're going to feel safe anyways. All right, the command center is about to finish. We've got a little bit of downtime here, Artosis. Yes, indeed. What are you, um, um, as far as sightseeing goes, when we go to Taiwan tomorrow, what are you most interested in? Uh, well, I actually uh, went there a couple of years ago, or a year and a half ago, I guess. Oh, that's right, you did. I forgot yeah, about that. I, I actually saw basically all the sites. Yeah? I saw like all the good stuff, like the, the awesome night market, and uh, saw the like Taipei 101 power and stuff like that. I gotta so. check all that out then. Yeah. Instead of I'm gonna be me taking cube. pictures of myself at these things, I'm gonna take pictures of Tasis' eyes like, oh my god, that tower's so tall! <laughs> <laughs> I want to, um, we got to check out an arcade down there. That'd be fun. Watch out, nerds in Taiwan. That's right. I wouldn't mind going back to the uh, studio. There's time. There's StarCraft Studio. Yeah. That'd be cool, Watch too. Nice guys down there. Say hi to my buddy Sen and Forty. Yeah, we haven't seen them in a little bit. Yeah. All right, well, we do have straight into Stargate, uh, Starport play here at Fortasia. Uh, this has been falling out a little bit. People are not going uh, Banshee Helling quite as much as they used to. But uh, it's it's pretty legit overall. You know, uh, you can definitely get down there and pressure on the Queens. If the Queens get out of position all, you can snipe some of them. And this is really nice for Aspen. Look at this. This is really interrupting a lot of mining time. Yeah. Timing here. But those links were worth it so far. And, uh, well... Sulky. I feel like he's got to start pushing his creep a little bit more, or he's going to be in trouble. He's he's going up to only a fourth queen. Yeah, that's where in a lot of these games like he's been on four or six. Yeah, uh, and earlier than this too. Whereas this game, he he focused on the speed for that harassment, which cut into his queen count. But that's going to make the the cloaked banshee plus uh, hellion combination more powerful because he doesn't have as many queens. 
Oh, well, layers halfway done here. It is interesting. He totally cut back on queens, like you said. Yeah, so and not a lot of creep tumors. Look at that. You killed two creep tumors there. That's that's already oh, a big deal. I just spilled coffee on me. Ouch. Well, oh, I won't. I think look it was iced coffee. Yeah. You look like a slob now, Tasteless. I know. This cast just became very unprofessional. Well, I'm gonna. Look, we'll see if it shows up in the camera. No, it's. I guess I should just take my shirt off so I don't look ridiculous. You'd look really good in just a tie and a, a blazer. Like Chippendales. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For sure. For sure, I would. Um, so we got um, the uh, Banshee on the way mm -hmm. here, well, along with Cloak. Yeah, Cloak's uh, almost everything done. Everything Tage is doing is pretty normal. I mean, yeah, it's not as popular as it used to be, but, uh, but it's, it's, it's definitely it's one of these standard openers you can do. Well, he does have, uh, Sulky does have his Overseer popping out. And he's getting another Queen, so he's going up to six right now. He does have Speedlings as well, and a couple Spores on the way, so... Uh, he's actually, he's preparing for it pretty well, with the Spore in the main base coming up as well, but he's definitely going to lose at least a couple drones. But in fact, actually, already the Queen's up there. Damn, he's going to get what? it too! What? Wow. Shut down. Oh my god. Well, that's... That's really painful. That's really, really painful. Well, considering the Banshee, Banshee yeah, just it lose didn't it. do really any damage. What did it do? Damage a queen that's staying in the main? That's... That I basically mean, it, you want, it essentially counts as nothing. It counts as nothing, yeah. It's, this is really, really bad news. Uh, well, we do have the next Banshee coming in here, but a Spore and a Queen going... Whoa, Teja. Oh my god, Teja's a mess. He has killed... Nothing. He's killed five units, they were all links. Um, this is terrible news for Tasia. And now he's got Sulky. one Banshee left. And that's like... You know this what? This Banshee's not going to do much of anything anyways. <sighs> Sulky is in such a good spot right now because... Tasia is going to have to Super Turtle. Yeah. If Sulky just goes Muta Link Bane, gets speed upgrade for Bane Links... I mean, normally against builds like this, where you go into a quick third, you you still have such map control and sometimes can even uh, crudely, uh, crucially uh, injure your opponent. But especially in this circumstance, I mean, there's no way that Tage is going to be able to do anything for a very long time. I, uh, Sulky has to just be smiling to himself. Everything has gone his way this game. All right. It looks like uh, for now the creep is uh, being pushed out pretty pretty steadily. We have one um, damaged banshee uh, that I don't think is again really going to do anything. He might be able to gun down a creep tumor or something. Yeah. Before. Now so remember, so last time when Sulky's mutus came out, they did a great job. Now the Marines are going to slip in here as okay. Did not end up happening. I like what he was doing there though. He had the uh, mutus come in there at the same time yeah. as the changelings did. Well, let's see what these mutas can get done. Actually, bypassing the Marines right now. They do have Stim, though, so they are coming after him, but he is starting to get some of these SCVs. And now hitting over here. Nicely placed Mr. Hurt, but he gets two mules. Ah, uh, did lose a muta, unfortunately. If he hadn't lost a muta, it'd be a bit better. But uh, as is, he's almost got that plus one, continuing his mutalist production, as well as getting 2-2 yeah. two -two for his lings. And taking a fourth base, as well as a Macratch. Sulky is totally on point this game. His creep spread's starting to get quite nice as well, despite the really nice sniping of creep tumors and the late queens of Sulky. Well, uh, when do you think we're going to see Tage of push here? I think it's going to be a long time. Yeah, I was going to say. If he moves out before 2 2 is done, I would be completely shocked. Okay, the Banshee once again shocked. goes down. That's the third time that's happened. <laughs> Without the Banshee really doing anything at all, and that's a lot of capital loss you consider how much a banshee costs plus how much the cloak costs plus the fact that he could have been doing something else entirely yeah yeah and uh we actually have eight more uh mutas on the way for sulky so this is uh a really great situation as well because he realizes that he can just continue to mass up layer tech units and this is going to be a situation where Teja can't push it at any point. And in fact, the position he's taking, I don't see this as an attack. He's trying to start to take out some green tumors, which this isn't going to work Oh, are you kidding well. me? Okay, at least he's got the queen. Takes up that med back. We'll take out these marines as well. But, uh, you know, I feel like this is just a little spot for him to start. Just keep the creep there, and then he can eventually take that fourth base, too, because it's kind of like a, a zoning position where it's hard to attack yeah, any sure. Tejas. All right. Um, 
Zerg, again, is very close to being maxed out now. Oh, is he going to intercept this uh, medevac? Looks like uh, he's just not being lazy with it. It's going to go around the whole map. What? Oh, nicely okay, done. So That's funny. He stopped in there, and then that medevac just blew right through. Mm -hmm. Well, another base being taken by Sulky. Yep. He's also getting his infestation pit. You may as well tech up when you have this much uh, income. Yeah, uh, now gonna take out this turret over here and a lot of SCVs along with it. You can even get that uh, stack depot there. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. The Marines are gonna chase him out for now. Yeah. He almost has his plus two for mutas though. That's that's pretty frightening. Hive has begun. More lings and veins on the way as well. Oh, missed like Yeah, a little bit sloppy there. But he he recovered it. It's fine. Do you think he's gonna attack? Yep, I, it looks I, like he is. Ah, uh, looks like he's just gonna go into here. He's actually bypassing all the tanks that are in siege mode. And this is gonna allow him to perhaps kill off this command center, but this this gives Tasia a position where he might be able to get some value against this army, but hold on, he's not sieged up quite yet. The tanks do come up in siege immediately, but the banelings oh! are all going to the natural. On the run! Is he gonna get the interception? No, they head down towards the uh the third base, Yudas though still doing a lot of damage. This is starting to look similar to the game that we just saw here uh, in game number one, where uh, it looks like Solki is just able to keep dismantling everything that Teja has. But I gotta say, that was good defense by Teja. You know, a lot was killed, yes, but that could have been so much worse. In fact, his command center didn't even die, which I felt like was part of what Solki originally planned going in there. So. Sulky gonna have to remake a lot of lings, remake a lot of veins, and this gives Tage an opportunity. He has his 2 2, and he's almost <laughs> maxed out. Yeah. And remember, Tage didn't lose a lot of tanks back there. In fact, he's got eight right now. Oh my god, can he get this hack? Man center. Or the other tanks. Banelings just hit a bunch of tanks. Oh there. my god, that is huge. If you lose that fourth command center like that, and you haven't pushed out, and you haven't done that much damage. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, that's, that's really great. Uh, well, we do have the Greater Spire on the way, as well as 3-3 and the Adrenal Upgrade. Solky, though, right now, as far as the value of his army, it's not all that big. Four Infestors, 13 Mutas, everything else is in Lings and Bane, so... Uh, a kill move is not something that he can really do, but his defense should be fine. With this type of creep spread, this type of economy, Tasia is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that he is. Um... Right now, again, Sulky really not even going uh, to touch whatsoever. Uh, he's, it looks like uh, Tage is going to move out again, but this is going to open up uh, a little window of, uh, where he can actually hit the fourth again. Uh, Sulky can. Keeps oh my Tage god, back. another force oh, cancel. It's man. so bad. But hold on, his links are all going up here, and this is actually he's he's kind of weird. Well, off. he killed every single Bane link. That certainly is not bad. Uh, the SCVs, I don't know if that's the best place I don't know, yeah, to fight, I was going to say. Uh, the amount of damage being done here by Solky to these SCVs. Tage's economy is falling apart. 35 SCVs up, 34 now. Oh, this is this is just really, really bad for Tasia. Uh, he should be able to take out that turret. Meanwhile, another attack coming in over here. Uh, that repair is pretty good. So he's coming up right now. Notice that uh, Tage is low on supply. Now this is a good but, decision. This is like something we'd see Polk do, man. He knows that he's in trouble economically. He's pushing forward. He's got to get some damage on his soul key right now. All right, he's backing up. He's going to wait for the last possible second to try to attack him. This gives the Brood Lords, which are immediately scanned here by Tasia. Yeah, and Tasia knows he has to push right this second. He has no time left. But if he's not sieged up, those Infestors and Banes can get in there. So he does start to siege, continues to push forward. He has to kill this hatchery and probably do more than that, to be honest. All right. We have, uh, looks like the, the fourth is going to be taken out here. Uh, oddly enough, uh, I don't, wait, see, this change up uh, is aware of the fifth. Oh, I guess he's going there now, so yeah. he must be aware of that. Yeah, I think he is. Well, right now we do have Tasia's uh, reinforcements oh! all dying, and oh god, that is a lot of Bane's hitting tanks. Oh my god, he messed that up really badly. This actually gives Tasia an opportunity here. Yeah, he's going to kill this other hatchery, which is great for him. This actually brings uh, Sulky down to three mining bases, but the army of Sulky is much better than Tasia's. Uh, he's getting more infestors as we speak. He'll bring him up to six, which isn't a ton, but it, it's it's pretty good. And along with his upgrades and the healthy Broodlord count, it's going to be hard for Tasia to mount any more offensives, especially when he only has 28 SCVs right now. His, his economy is not there to refill his army at all. 
Yeah, it really isn't. Oh, that's too bad. Didn't even get one rain out. Now, granted, uh, there were uh, some mistakes here uh, by, by, by Sulky. I mean, he just... There's just too much wiggle room, wiggle room for him here. Yeah. And when you top that off, I mean, for some reason, Tage is still continuing to do these one uh, meta back drops. Yeah. And them, which, at this point in time, is probably not going to work if Sulky's not attacking. And that's Corruptors and Infestors. I mean, yeah. you're basically just giving away units. You know, I, I think at this point, Tage is hoping for a miracle of some sort. Can he pick off another hatch? Can he draw the Zerg away long enough to somehow get an army that can deal with the army that's going to be coming at him? Uh, I, I feel like the answers to these questions, Tasis, are no. I got to agree with you, Artosis. Look at that. Army spy and worker spy way in the favor of Soldier. The creep well, I mean, supply infinitely in the favor of Soldier. Yeah. I mean, Tage's base is, all of his bases are pretty ghetto at this point in time. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if there's a, a lot that he's going to do to bring it back. Meanwhile, Sulky is just at home. He's just now maxed out. He's probably going to expand one or two more times. And he, all he's going to do is sit and wait like a giant trapdoor spider <laughs> for Tage to try to do something. And he's going to go kill it, like we're going to see probably right now. Well, Sulky is uh, doing this thing that I love to see Zergs do, which is take his time and push very patiently. He knows that a uh, sloppy attack is really the one way that Tasia can come back here. So he's going to push nice and slowly. A nice run up with the Marines. A yeah. beautiful retreat. Really Tasia well playing done. playing his heart out right now. Beautiful fungal. Another fungal. And these fungals are not going to be stopping anytime soon. The Birdlord is now continuing to move up here. So many Corruptors annihilating all the Metamax. And GG. Well, Sulky absolutely destroying this group. This was like not even close. Sulky killed everybody. Yeah, that was a 4-0, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sulky 4-0. He group just gets like sea walks out of the group. Yeah. On a round of 16. Wow. All right. Well, uh, Tasia. Now he's regretting that mule he dropped on Nesty. He's <laughs> hoping somehow uh, Nesty does lose to Noblesse. Crazier things have happened. Crazier things have happened, man. Well, guys, we um, are going to go on to Nesty against Noble S. And then the winner of that series is going to go on to face off against Teja. And after that, we're going to know uh, for today's group, you know, who's going to be uh, moving on to the round of 16 and who's going to be out of Code S. Yeah, that's right. I'm really excited for this next match. Uh, Noble S, he played some strong, pretty standard games with a little bit of funk mixed in. So. Yeah. Uh, will Nesty be able to deal with that? His attacks haven't been that good today, so it could actually be close. We'll have to see. We'll be back after this short little break here at the GSL Codes.